Oi, it's your boy G20 King Sarcasm. Y'all already know what it is, man. And welcome back to NHL 20. Be a pro on a PS4. Let's go, man. It is time to advance the season a little bit. We moved it forward since the last video. Just a teeny tiny bit. We're starting to get going. We're one game away from the bye week now. I think our last game was this one right here against the Golden Knights. So all of this, I think I played these two off cam and then these three games were simulated we got three dubs so that's pretty good man the oilers were right back in the playoff hunt i've had some some leave edmonton comments again because you know earlier in the season because we weren't doing well but god damn it we are out here and we are not man we are deep into this season like real shit we are getting deeper in there next month yeah it's gonna be the trade deadline and then the final stretch is going to be right there with the game against the Calgary Flames. Oh, this is going to be, wow, this is going to be a massive um, four games here to end the season with Anaheim, Vancouver, San Jose, and then Calgary. That could, that could make a playoff swing here. But today we have a game against the Nashville Predators. And if you guys have been here since the beginning of the series, you know what that means. You know, man, because the Nashville Predators have my Ottawa 67's teammate on them. They have my boy Nikita Brustinov, and we are about to play him, and we just want to see how he's developing. He's developing into an 88 overall player, so yeah. You see, when I created him, I said I wanted him to be a good player, but not game-breaking, and it looks like I just made a good player, which is what I was going for, so yay me, I guess, but medium elite potential, he can still grow a little bit, he's got one, maybe two years um, left of growing, and he's he's doing okay, man, I think this is his first, yep, it's his first season where he is a plus on the plus minus, because Nashville has been trash, let's just, let's just keep it a whole stack, Nashville has been absolutely awful, he's, he's got some pretty similar, um, statistics to Ryan Nugent Hopkins when he was first in the NHL. I feel like I might have created Ryan Nugent Hopkins except not as good defensively. So that's a that's a pretty good player to have. What did he sign because he's Oh, that is interesting. That is very interesting. 1 year with the Nashville Predators because look, here was his ELC and so he signed a one-year contract, a bridge deal with the Nashville Predators at 6.38. So I maybe he doesn't want to commit long-term. I don't know what it is, but he ain't want to sign with the Predators again. Now, he's going to be restricted this offseason, but still showing that there might be a little bit of um, little bit of friction between him and the Nashville Predators because, I mean, I don't blame him. The Preds have been god-awful in this entire Be A Pro series. They've had a really rough one, but let's see. If they can come out with a win against the Oilers today, we're on a little bit of a roll. We're going to look to keep it going. We're on pace for 51 goals so far on the season. So pretty good season uh, for a sniper. We are out here at goal scoring, and we're going to need to score goals because we are down 2-1. to one And yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, never mind. I thought I thought Bruce Roth scored it, but it's, uh, it's Dante Fabro. All right, mate. We're going to start the third period with a nice play to go around the boards and have some good solid hockey here. Right off the bat, we get a good shot it's stopped but the rebound is put home by our line mate i think it might have been phrase matter of fact i'm pretty damn sure it was phrase doesn't matter we got an assist on the play this is why i get so many assists man i get a lot of shots that are very dangerous goaltenders have a hard time getting it and phrase just had a, a whole slew of weird animations and hey you know what he put the puck in the back of the net and that's all i can really ask for just like that, man, the Oilers tie the hockey game up early in the third period. It wasn't a great start for us. We're going to let Krug go here because he's uh, he's an offensive defenseman type of guy. You know, he moves the puck quite a bit for us. So we're going to give him some freedom, allow him some freedom, and back him up. I don't mind letting – ooh, as we hit the post. I don't mind letting defensemen go. I think I'm going to get a penalty? Interesting. You know what? I think I'm going to get tossed from the game, so we're going to fight you, bud. We're going to fight you. I don't care. Okay, no, 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 no. That's that is a big fucking fighter. Okay, okay, whoa. I might I'm gonna lose this fight. Uh yeah, I'm gonna lose this fight. Holy shit. Unless I can no. Please, please, please let me tuck him. Let me pull his jersey. Thank you. Oh my god. Can I beat him? Oh yes. That was such a close fight. Let's go. Sit your ass down. 
Oh, that was close, but we got her done, man. It took me like five attempts to pull the jersey on him, but God damn it, we, we found a way. Found a way. Six foot three. What the hell you think this is? We out here. I don't care if I'm a sniper or not. I feel like I'm getting... Oh, and I broke his jaw. What's up, bro? What is up? Shit. I gave our team some momentum. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, fair enough. It's going to be a three to two score. Um, for the Predators as we get back on the ice. Would be nice to keep the winning streak going, uh, obviously, but it's we're just trying to do our best here against the Preds. They, they're they not the greatest team in the world, but they're starting. They're finally okay. I aim the pass directly to the right, but I guess we're just going to send it wherever we want, huh, Rammer? Okay, but uh, what the hell was I trying to say? I was trying to say, oh, yeah, the, the Preds are finally having a competitive season. Like, they, they have been literally a doormat team um, since the start of our Be A Pro series. That's just how it's been going for them, and it's good to see that they're finally here because my boy, my boy Nikita, has been suffering over there in Nashville, and it's nice to see that he's finally going to find a little bit of success. I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs or whatever, you know, in the Central Division, but there's a chance. There's a chance that they make the playoffs, and that's just probably why they're playing us pretty damn hard. Please shoot it before the simulation goes. Yep, to the left side. You're... Oh, can I snipe it? Oh, what a save! The AI doesn't always let you just come down the wing and bomb it like that. But it, it, they let us do it this time. No, nope, no, sir. Nothing through the middle. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Body. Oh, come on. Who is right D on this play? You let us down. And Kasperi Kapanen is going to score. That looks absolutely nothing like Kasperi Kapanen. They didn't even give him hair. If you're going to do anything... To, to make a character that looks remotely close to Kasperi Capita, give him some long hair at least, and they did fucking none of it, but okay. Now we're down by two. Just an, another bad penalty, or another bad time to take a penalty, and the Oilers uh, are gonna have to, oh my god, are gonna have to create some more offense here if we want to make up for it. We're pr probably not gonna win this game now. I'm gonna get this puck down low. I'm gonna stop. We have a goalie pulled situation. Oh, give me that. Oh, I can't find it. He does, and he scores. Okay. It's a little bit of a grindy shift, but we'll take it. We come out of here. We get a goal. Now we're down by one. And it's it's pretty late in the third, but I think there's still... Oh, seven seconds. It's going to have to be a really quick goal. I don't know. I don't know about this one. They win the face off. I go directly at them. I'm going to stay up just in case they turn it over. They do not. And uh, it's going to be the end of the game. Ah, that sucks. That sucks because we came really close. So we're going to lose to the Nashville Predators and Nikita, and that's just on some poor defensive play. Unfortunately, it's, um, like I said in the last video, it's we score a lot of goals, but if we keep allowing this many chances, it's, it's not going to matter. You know, you can't allow three goals a game. Even if you score four goals a game, you can't allow three goals a game because on the night where your offense isn't going to go well, you're gonna lose it's it's as simple as that you're just gonna lose now i pretty much have to play this game against the columbus blue jackets because i've been doing a little bit of simulating and i ain't trying to get sent down to the second line right now so we're gonna go ahead and play the game against the jackets and now we had the bye week so we fell down the standings a little bit but it's gonna be okay first period we have a three to two lead let's get it second period we have a five to two lead uh do we no we don't play this fuck it fuck it play and we're not playing it it's five to two we're not gonna we're not gonna lose a three goal um three goal spread three goal lead which is gonna go right to the next game against the new jersey devils but now i really have to play because like i said i ain't trying to get sent down to the second line first period let's go one goal lead second period three to two lead Ooh. i'm gonna start the third period on the penalty kill too oh your boy your boy i might Hold on, hold on, just, oh, nice saucer pass across the ice. We got a decent offensive chance for Adam Goddad here, right, right off the puck drop in the second period, or third period, rather. We're going to shoot that. I wanted the forehand spin, not the backhand spin, but okay. Goddad gets beat pretty hard, pretty badly here on the rush, but luckily for us, they kind of just throw it, and it doesn't work, so we're still going to be on the penalty kill. Adam... We need this face-off, bud, in the defensive zone, please. He's going to lose it. Okay, it's fine. It's perfectly okay. One-timer's going to be blocked. Great blocked. And then a terrible, just dreadful clearing attempt is intercepted by the Devils, and Markstrom's going to have to hold on to it. That was just... Why? Why? Just send it somewhere where they're not going to 
pick it off that easily. Even if it doesn't get all the way down the ice, like at least, oh, get it out of the zone as Markstrom makes a huge save. Okay, please do not. No cross pass. No, none of that shit. I'm not allowing that one-timer from the point. It's not happening, Katnin. All right. No. Oh, we we didn't? Really? Okay. I thought he was going to intercept that for sure, but that's a big no. Markstrom makes another save, and our luck did not run out. Huge simulation talks. 4-2 Edmonton. We have a defensive zone face-off once again, but let's go, man. Now we have the insurance marker. Two-goal lead. We should be okay. Oh, that's it. That's it. If you're going to run that aggressive face-off, you better win it. Oh, great save. I tried to just snipe it real quick off the breakaway. Didn't want to D him too much. Oh, one time he broke. Oh, okay. That's fine. It's fine. I don't, like I said, I don't want to spam the backhand move all the time. Sometimes we're going to try other shit um, when other shit is open. And the goaltender. We need a little bit out of position, so we just went ahead and fucking sent it. Let's go. Oh, up to me. You with the one-timer. It's going to be stopped again. It's fine. Look, look. See? Here we go. Here we go. Keep it. Keep the shots to the outside. Let Marstrom make easy saves. We're going to be okay. Let's go. Left side. Yerp. I like that. I like that. Cross the ice. He's going to make something happen. Dropping it to me. Shoot that. Oh, fuck me. Hey, that almost worked. Back at the point. Okay. We're going to get the putt. Oh, I didn't want that. I really didn't want that. It's going to be a breakaway for the Devils, and he scores on the glove side. Markstrom got absolutely destroyed by a very basic deke, and that's unfortunate, man. I didn't want that. For oh, that's Graham Clark. Hey, former 67. Let's go. My man. He used to be my lay mate. Let's go, man. That's a nice play for him, and like I said, I didn't want the puck back, but... It's okay. It's just, it's it's the defense, man. Sometimes, well, all the time, they give it right back to you, even though they probably shouldn't. And here you go. This is what happens. But it's all right. It's all right. We're going to figure it out, hopefully, one day. Right, Rammer? We're going to figure out the passing AI, right? Oh, as we get crushed, and there's going to be a fight. It's going to be, oh, my God, Yarvanen is fighting again. This, this time because I got absolutely squished. No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't just just get off me, please. Thank you. I'm just trying to skate towards the fight. That's all. That's all I'm trying to do, Rammer. Yarvanen, please, brother. You, Yarvanen always has these slow-ass fights. It is what it is. We still have one goal lead. We have a defensive zone face-off because we're just not allowed to start in the offensive zone. Oh, better yet, we're killing a penalty because we're just not allowed to play full uh, five-on-five periods when we're up. You know, we, ju we just tend to take penalties when we're up in games. Uh, just for Brett, no, sir. We're going to cross back with... Oh, God, Dad, you got to pick a side and stick to it, man. That almost cost us a shot. Woo, he almost cleared it out. Thank goodness the bench was there. It's not going to be a penalty for us. We're going to have another face-off, still five on four. We have a little bit of it left still. We're just no pass, no, sir. No, absolutely not. No, we're not going to let that happen. At the point, we we might give them a point shot because they obviously want some cross-ice passes down lower in the zone than the point. So I might just go ahead and give them the point. Motherfucker. No, 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 no. You don't face wash me like that, brother. You're not doing that. No, sir. No fucking way. Oh, my God. Why is fighting so fucking... Did they change something to fighting? Like, I f or maybe I'm just fighting the big motherfuckers, but here we go. Finally, we're going to get them in the jersey tuck, and there you go. I feel like fighting has gotten a little bit more difficult, and, like, these is back-to-back -back fights where we are very close to losing it, but we pulled through in the clutch, pulling the jersey on them, and we just managed to find a way. Was that his first fight? Usually they show that cutscene when it's the first fight of uh, the guy's career. Oh, well. Sucks to suck, bud. Sit your ass down. And obviously we sit for the remainder of the game. The team does not allow the tying goal and we walk out of here with you. Which job is bad for the Edmonton Oilers. Let's freaking go. Love to see it. Your boy not doing much offensively, but you know what? We had a few key penalty killing shifts and we had a big fight win right there. That, that was partially my no not really they shouldn't have given that puck to me like at all on offense and the only really bad play that we made was this one right there where we got absolutely demolished but it's okay you know what because uh ended up getting a fight and ended up winning that bitch and it's gonna be 
um, the end of this game. Just being a hockey player, man, we got a Gordie Howe hat trick in that last one. Goal and assist and a fight. Let's go, man. That's just, you know, that's the type of game that gets your juices flowing. And that's two consecutive, well, gameplay games, at least, where we get a fight. And I don't know, man. I don't know. We're developing a little bit of toughness here as we approach the final stretch of the season. First period. Ooh, we're down to nothing. We're going to need some toughness now. Let's go. Something that does concern me, though, is we haven't been drawing penalties that much. I, I think we've had one power play shift in the last uh, in the last two gameplay games. Now, we only played a third period, which is, you know, part of the reason why we don't get that many power plays. But I don't know. It just it feels like usually we have more power play shifts than we do right now than we've been getting, you know, in the last few games. So maybe that's a cause for concern. I don't know. We're still getting dubs, so that's the main priority, right? But... We gotta, we gotta figure out a way to win those special teams battles, and a part of that is drawing more penalties than you take. Now, obviously, it's it's a little bit difficult to draw more penalties than you take because the refs are fucking stupid, and they try to even out the penalties for some bullshit reason instead of just calling the game. But you know, it, it's it is what it is. We gotta stop taking penalties, though. You know, and this is what I was talking about. Here we are taking another penalty, and now we're gonna have to fix it. Adam, please play the left side of the fucking box, man. Oh my goodness! At least until we have an opportunity to switch. I understand. I'm left wing. You want to play on the right side of the box, but that early in the shift, he's got to take the left, man. Please, for the love of God, it's basic hockey stuff. Okay, see? Now you dumped it down the ice. Now we get to change. Thank you. There you go. You get to have your side, and I get to have mine. Goodness gracious. That's going to be icing. Yep, they're going to ice the puck on the power play. No, they're not. Okay, it must have hit something. All right, that's fantastic. We we catch a little... Well, they catch a good bounce for them, and uh, we're on the... Okay, we're on the defensive once again. No cross ice pass coming from this side of the ice, and I couldn't block the shot. Okay, I was trying to defend the uh, the one timer pass, and it ended up just going through us. There was a little bit of traffic, and Charlie Coyle is going to end up getting a big goal, just trying to force turnovers. There, there it is. Draw the. Oh, you need to send me, bro. You need to send me. Oh, I had a breakaway if he just sauced it to the middle. It doesn't even need to be on my tape. Just throw it to that general area on my right side a little bit ahead of me, and that's a breakaway. That is an absolute breakaway. I had nobody defending me. I split the defense clean. We are struggling with zone entry because we're not dumping it in. Okay. Oh, cross ice pass. There it is. Geno's big. Geno's for you, boys. The Edmonton Oilers, Lionel Fraze, getting an easy tap in. After a very frustrating zone entry, we found a way, man. It's just its just what happens uh, when you're on the untouchables. You know, when you're on this type of line, you can turn a really broken play to something great like that. You know, it really doesn't take much. You just need one, one person to shoot a gap well, and then the other person to see it, and then all of a sudden, you're in business. It's perfectly fine. No one-timers. Yep, back at the point. It's okay. All right, the defense is out here. He's going to play that very hard. Oh, up to me. Yep, yep. Can we beat them both? We cannot, but I can take a shot. Let's get an insurance marker here. I'm just, I, I think I'm just going to go to the net, look for a, a tip or something, or a rebound, possibly, out in traffic. We can't get either of those things. Poking it, though. Big checks. Let's go. Nice play. Back to me. I'm going to shoot that. Big Genos. Let's fucking go. That's a great play on the four check. I don't know who F3 was on this play, but that was nice to prevent that zone exit because I crossed the first kid, but he had gotten rid of the puck already, and F3 just managed to pick it up, pass it to me, wide open against the goaltender. It's going to be a snipe every day. And just like that, we have our two-goal lead. We have our insurance marker. We should be okay. Obviously, once again, we need to score five goals to get an insurance marker, but... I'm not going to complain if we get it, right? If we don't get it, that's where the issues lie. But we're able to get it today, so we should be okay, man. Defensive zone. Well, it's not defensive zone. It's at the defensive blue line. We end up losing it, which is going to make it a defensive zone play. Unless Connor's huge. Oh, he almost left for a breakaway. That faceoff's not going to go. Here, we are out here. Give me that. Yes, sir. Boom. Up to Fraze. Fraze had a clean zone entry. He deeks to the left. Oh, I know what he was lining up, and it was going to be freaking sexy. But he couldn't quite do it. No, sir. No, sir. Ooh, nice play to the backhander. All right. He made me miss that hit. I'll give him credit, man. That was a solid play by him. See? We just need to shut her down. If we can do that, we're going to be in business. There you go. Down low and cut it off. Oh, no, they didn't. Right to the middle. Ooh, that was terrifying. Two minutes left. 
And we have a two-goal lead. We should be good. We should be good to go here. We're not going to force anything. We're going to drop it because he has room. McDavid on net. I get to rebound off the post. Ooh, me and Connor almost putting the game away on this one. Don't challenge me. Do not. You are not nearly as big as the last motherfucker that got KO'd, okay? Don't do that. Okay, just just go back to your, your face-off position and just enjoy the view, okay? Just watch greatness. You don't need to go up against it because it's going to be a hard fucking, uh, a hard fucking punch that you're going to take as we snipe it off the face-off. That's, that's some not great goaltending here. He wasn't quite ready for that. Wow. I honestly didn't think that was going to go in. I was just shooting that to get a rebound, but it went right through the glove. Goalie having a goal or a hole right there. Who is that? Is that Brayden Holpe? My God, what happened to you, bro? You're supposed to stop that nine times out of ten. Just gonna snipe off the faceoff, just barely off the ice, under the glove. He can't take it. Let's go. Huge jobs, bud. Hell yeah, six to three over the Hurricanes. We're starting to build momentum. We're still losing some games occasionally. You know, we already reached the uh, the the same amount of losses that we did in the 65 win season. So, like, we would have to literally win every single game to even come close to 65 wins. So we're not nearly as dominant, but we're still out here. We're still winning games, and I feel like once we catch up in games played... Wait, hold on. Are, do we have... Hmm. Okay, so we have pretty much the same amount of games played. Okay, well, maybe we're not, a, a, you know, tier one team anymore in Edmonton, but we can still fight to become a tier one team because realistically, the Pacific is very tight. And if you look at the other divisions, uh, we might have the best division. We might. I don't know. It's just, it's close, but I feel like we have uh, some very high quality teams here in the Pacific, but we are out here 97 points in 53 games. And we're, I can't, I can't even complain, man. 35 goals in 53 games. That's a definitely on pace for over 50 now because we've had a good video here, but Hey, uh, we're going to have to wait and see now. I don't know how far I'm going to move forward. I might move forward a few weeks here between now and the next video. I might, um, the next video might just be those three games right here before the trade deadline. And then we can lock in our playoff roster. I feel like that's a good, um, that would be a good thing because we have, wow, we have two very similar weeks. Look at that. Tampa, then the Flyers, and then the Kings, and then Tampa the same day, and then the Flyers the same day, and then a different opponent. So very similar weeks. But those, I think, those two weeks plus the Islanders game are going to be done off camera. You guys let me know if you have any objections. I don't think, uh, I don't, I think it's a pretty good plan that we have installed. But that's going to be the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hook your boy up and punch the like button in the face. Spend a hell of a comment and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.